Okay, here we got a mobile home furnace. My uh, neighbor asked me to come down and take a look at it because she said she had no heat and she called somebody and said they couldn't be here for a couple days, something of that nature. And uh, most commonly, it goes bad in these is there's a Lee little transformer that converts 120 to 24 volt. Uh, most of the time these little transformers go bad. I figured I'd come down here and find that out. And it was good. Um, pretty much uh, got to checking the little heat sensors on it and ran up to this one here which has a manual reset on it. As soon as I reset it, it the flame lit. And I'm like, well, if that went, if that tripped, there's probably something wrong with the blower. So this one here has AC set up, so pretty much like when you buy one of these homes, you won't get this box on here um, unless you have AC installed. And it's kind of like a little retrofit. The and it just looks like it probably just plugged into, you know, with a blower. The blower probably just plugged into this, and it just kind of fits in between. Um, a lot of the time when I fix these, there's a transformer inside of here, too, because they, it's kind of just an add-on. Um, I can run 24 volts from the transformers in here down to where this one would be. And, you know, get somebody by at least until they get another transformer or whatever. Or order one. It's usually cheaper to order one yourself than it is to try somewhere to get one. But that was all good. When I went to turn the blower on, it, uh, it sounded really bad and was barely turning. So, pretty quickly went and turned it off. Um, the blower that's in here right now is just temporary. I just put this one in. Um, I actually, I got one of these furnaces for free, somebody was had it, having it changed out, and I told them that I wanted it whenever they got it out, so that, I don't know, I hoard certain things, like, that I know I may need, so that I don't have to pay the big bucks to replace it, so I loaned her mine, and then I got her new motor, so I'm getting ready to put that in. Well, these things are pretty simple. Um, they're like the easiest thing to work on. I've never seen one with this on. It's an electric spark igniter, but it doesn't actually light it every time it goes to light. It's just to light the flame, you know, the, the pilot light, and then that's all the only function it has instead of like actually reaching in there with a long match. First time I've seen this. And some of them sometimes have um, an inducer motor on. I can't imagine that, you know, even on those furnaces that it even needs it. But this one don't have one. It'll usually be mounted somewhere in here. Uh, the little inducer motors often burn up. Because um, they just they're made pretty cheap, but one of the things I'm kind of curious with this thing is that when I did fire it up the last time, it made a lot of popping and snapping, like metal popping and snapping. As to whether it's they have a it has a if it has a heat exchanger crack. Uh, I thought about I don't know if I can see see the pilot light in there or not. I thought about turning up the thermostat, and then if it has a crack in the heat exchanger, you watch the flame in there before the blower comes on, and then when the blower kicks on, if there's a crack in the exchanger, it'll, it'll pressurize the heat exchanger and change the, the shape of the flame. So I thought about, well, I might just do it right now. I'll do it on the video and see if you guys can see anything too. This will be the first time I've ever tr I'm trying it. Um, her thermostat. Well, it's gonna get dark here for a minute. 
usually mounted somewhere. Alright, we're lit. Let's see what this looks like. This thing just turned off before I came in, so it shouldn't take too long to warm up. If you guys can see that flame. I can barely see it on my camera, so you should be able to see it. Let's see what this looks like when the blower kicks on. Um, I used to work in heating and cooling a little bit, and I went to school for a couple years in uh, like a high school um, program where you actually go to a different school, and it's vocational. That's what I'm looking for. And I got placed in a couple different places. But I kind of picked this way up of checking these out myself. They used to like throw like smoke, like a smoke bomb or something inside of it and see if it comes out anywhere. But this way here seems to work pretty good for me because this, this, the flame gets all funny if it has a crack in it. It'll turn on here in a minute, I think. Here we go. Yeah. Got a lot more yellow. So, I'm going to turn it off once see what and give it another kind of another look when it kicks I don't know but anyway that's what I've been up to here today is fixing her up when I got here today it was like 40 the other day I should say the other day when I got here to work on this it was like 40 degrees in here I can't believe she didn't have some froze up things but anyway well thanks for watching